This is the Pure Sun Mini Bird Light. It's a full spectrum light with a 2.4% UVB and an 8 watt output for small bird cages. This video is not sponsored. I just picked this light up so I can give it a try for my birds as it's winter time and they can't go outside to get the natural sunlight. It mimics natural light, is flicker free, which is great, and creates vitamin D3. Now vitamin D3 allows the absorption of calcium for strong bones, proper muscle function, and healthy egg production. It improves their feather condition and their ability to perceive colors, food, and the condition of other birds. Full spectrum lighting is ideal for birds that do not receive natural sunlight, especially in the winter. Now you may think that placing a bird's cage near a window might seem like a good way to provide UVB light, but unfortunately it is not effective as glass windows block nearly all UVB and UVA rays and won't benefit from the UVB rays needed to create vitamin D3. Let's see what's inside this box. It's a nice sturdy box. And well, this looks like instructions. Yep, it tells you how to put it together. And here's everything. This yeah, is the light, 8 watts. That's the reflector. And this is the light fitting. I'm assuming from the picture it looks like it goes like that and the cord and these are some parts that you put it together with and this is the acrylic bracket that you hang the light from and you put this on the cage so I'm going to put it together and show you what it looks like so the first thing it says is to take your mountain bracket which is a silver piece here then you have a screw then you put a washer on top of that screw. Then you place this screw under the mountain bracket like that. Then you get your acrylic bracket and there's a name on top. So I'm going to place it this way. This is where the light's going to hang. There's a hole. See that hole? So you're going to place that. Now I'm going to adjust it later. Place it like that. Now there's a bolt. And you, you put that on top here. And there's a like a bolt or a nut cover. See how it's round? Yeah, I'm going to adjust that later. All right, so that's the first step. Now this is what is used to attach uh, to the cage. This is going to be in the inside of the cage. You're going to place it through the bars. I'll show you later. And then it comes with this washer and then this bolt. So you're just going to place it through the other hole, which is here. So I'll just show you. I'm going to place it on the cage later. Just want to set it up first. So the cage bars will be between there. And this is how it's going to be held on to the cage. And the light's going to be here. So next you want to take your reflector, as you can see there's a groove here which will fit the light uh, like fixture part and this will fit into here. So um, what I'm going to do is you kind of snap it in so you can see the grooves here, right here. Slide it in one spot and then you're going to have to like snap that in to this side. there so then you have your like one piece so now I'm gonna have to attach the light all right now I'm gonna put the light the light bulb into the fixture and you can see there's two like prongs here on either side so there is slots here you can see one here one here so you're just gonna slide the lamp into those slots and then you got to turn it because if you don't turn it it'll fall out so you just got to see which way it goes sometimes if you turn it one way it won't turn there we go and you can hear it click did you hear that click I was talking about anyways look at it so you just got to turn it I turned it this way it's in so there's the light fixture 
with the light bulb. And now this acrylic base can be just put onto here. This will just snap onto this and it's gonna hold up the light fixture. Place this on a table and then place where you wanna put it like in the middle and that and just push down there. So it's all attached now. And basically just gotta attach the cord and there's two holes here it's very simple just gonna plug it in right here or the other way make sure it's really tight they say otherwise it will flicker all right so it does have an on off switch right here I'm gonna plug it in and show you the light and this cord is not bird proof they can chew right through it if they're bigger birds or any bird that likes to chew. So it's best to go to the hardware store and get one of those cord protectors. I have a few for my cameras that I put outside because the rabbits chew them outside and they just go over the cord and the birds can't really chew that unless they're like macaws or something. They would chew that, but figure out what you want to put on the cord. And they do provide these two, um, they stick on, they do guide the cord. Like say you want to put the cord up here you can stick that up here and if you want to put the cord here and going down there then you can place the other one here but you don't need them you can just hang it wherever you like so I turn the light on and this is what it looks like it's got a lot of light so I'm gonna give it to one of my birds now it's supposed to be like at least eight inches above the cage and you place a perch beneath it and I got the mini because my cages are big but I really didn't want to light all the way across the cage because birds need the chance to get away from the light they don't want to always be sitting in the light and you have to place it on top of the cage never place it on the side as it'll hurt the bird's eyes as they're always staring at it it can cause cataracts and you don't want to overexpose your bird to too much light so I'm going to give this to Kingsley, my king parrot, because he loves to bask in the sun. And he actually basks under some light bulbs. But um, this will mimic the sun. It'll give him vitamin D3. All right, well, there it is. But it didn't fit. It didn't. It's not fit. It's just, uh, I just leaned it on that calcium block there. I'm not going to leave it like that because it's going to fall off. Especially if Kingsley goes to eat it. So um, this is meant for smaller cages. This is a bigger cage. I have... You know, three of these cages in my living room, three more in my bird room. But because of this bar here, it's a thick bar. And as you can see, it goes in. Like it goes in. So when I put the acrylic over it, you know, it sticks out further. And they provided this nut to attach it to. So when I put the nut in here, see how long it is. It's not, um, it should be a lot, way longer, like, uh, like an inch or two longer. So it can reach the acrylic. So I can attach this. My husband's pretty handy, so maybe he can rig something up. And see, it is it is very small. I just wanted a small one so they can fit on one side of the cage where he can choose, or any of my birds can choose, to go into under the light or out of the light. Because I don't want a whole big light across it where they can't choose where to go. I mean, they're out of their cages a lot as well, but, you know, when they're in their cages, I just want to give them the opportunity to go either under the light or away from the light. Okay, so there's Kingsley. He hasn't when he hasn't gone over there yet, but he does love basking in the sun or any any lights he sees. He basks under them. So he's a little nervous right now. So I'm just gonna wait and see if he goes under it. So I'm gonna place it on the smaller cage so that I can show you how it works. So I just leaned it on that uh, uh, calcium block there. It's just sitting there. I mean, it's not safe. I just want to show you how it would look nice. Maybe the one, there are different sizes for larger cages and it would possibly fit if they have a longer bolt. But um, yeah, I wanna know if Kingsley's gonna come over. Come on, Kingsley, I know you like the sun. Yeah, come on. See, and that's why I wanted a small one. I just wanted to put it on one side so that they can go to the other side if they don't wanna be under there. All right, I got some good news. It fits my other cage because these are all different models. This is a Beaks uh, flight cage and this is flush. So as long as it's flush, it will fit. So it does fit uh, Malibu. This is Malibu. Malibu's cage, it does fit. And I'm assuming it might fit Synergy's cage. It just depends on the... No, it won't fit here on the side anyway. See how this is goes in here. And the back. Well, the back is kind of flush, so it might... 
yeah it'll probably fit the back but not the sides because it goes you know here and then it goes in see this is Kingsley's cage see how it goes in I wish it didn't do that and we have it the right way so we don't have the opposite so they go in so that makes it deeper so it didn't fit so Kingsley sorry that won't fit you unless my husband figures out something but look it fits Malibu's cage so let's see if Malibu goes under the light Anyway, you can see how it fits so I just want to show you that as well so there is just um, like a screw here that clips on when you put the see the black part over there that goes on the inside it's a screw and then you just put this bolt over to tighten it and then it sits above the cage like this and you can put it higher or lower this colors look really nice look at you even for that little bit of a light look how colorful you look so pretty Malibu go on you got it there you go so he did go over in the light more closer to the light which is just right there now that perch is actually eight inches from the light that's what it says eight inches you don't want it any closer and this perch is lower of course but to get the full uvb eight inches is, is perfect so apparently you can get a link for these lights to link 10 lights together but it's sold separate what do you think malibu hmm? you like it Hi, malibu and what about you synergy I think Synergy would like it too. Is this a Synergy? He's a plum-headed parakeet. Also have a Senegal parrot. Hi, baby. This is Electra. She's in the living room as well. Yeah, you would like one of those lights, huh? I don't know if it'll fit your cage, but I can always try. Hi, Malibu. Do you like that light? You look nice and green under the light, huh? Yellow and red. So if you're interested in that light, I'll put a link down below. And I'll put the website as well. You can check it out. And I'm curious to see if it's going to change my bird's behavior and improve the feathers. What the feathers are good already anyways. According to me, yes. Hey, Malibu. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.